It's one player, two player. Put controller in, and they turn the power button on. And hey, power on! Power on, everybody. We're back. Welcome, welcome back to Dark Souls Three. Um, this abomination is going on an adventure. Right land virgin is not the abomination. <laughs> you can shut your mouth, John. <laughs> Oh, I loved this game and how much lore it had. I loved diving through it. It was so much fun. I loved diving off of the pool with it. You'd go and you'd find a ring and you'd get a whole fucking... Oh, I have. And you'd make a whole deep dive into the lore. It was so good. It was so much fun. If you kill this guy, you get a ring. But I won't. You get to live for now. I'm not going to kill him. So the reason you get a ring from him is because he's an ancestor of a guy from Dark Souls 1. How cool is that? Cool, I, mean, I didn't mean ancestor, I meant the guy. Descendant? Is a descendant of, of a guy from Dark Souls 1. Don't, but thanks, I've unraveled the riddle of this inscrutable lift. <laughs> so I'm gonna kill that thing, because it, uh, it had given me a good of stuff. And I'll want on it. And it'll be awesome. Because it's funny. No! You should have waited! It's too late now. Rise the word of the night of Katarina! Fight by your side! Ah! Look at that stuffy! Break away in the virgin! Oh! Well, he's helping. Oh, yeah, he is. Get it there! Whack. Did we do it? Is he dead? Did we I kill him? we got him. We did. we did it! I had so much help in here. Can't get my fucking Laffy Taffy over him. That was quite a performance. But you mustn't get in over your head. Oh, I will. We For I am going to land first. first. But... For the moment, we have a toast to make. Holds up Your big power, loaf of bread. My sword and our victory together. Long may the sun shine. <laughs> I love him. He's one of the few characters that actually gets a relatively happy ending out of this. He deserves it. If either. you do it right. <laughs> yeah, if you try you don't fuck up. He does die at the end, but like he gets a peaceful death, which does not happen often in Souls games. Oh, are you saying all these people are like crucified and destroyed up in the streets? They didn't get that's happy. That's not that's not a happy ending, no. No, not a not a happy no. What? What? What the what? hell? What? <laughs> wow! There's a bunch of shit I gotta go kill over here. Yeah, this thing was gonna drop down maybe? I can't remember. No, okay. Maybe not yet. That happened later. Right here, actually. Yeah, see? You can tell the difference. You see him? <laughs> yeah. Ow! What the fuck? What the fuck, Richard? They threw their poop at me. They threw their poopy at me. It's not a good. I'm not like their poopy. Their doo doo feces. They threw it at my face and they're like. They threw Michael Jackson doo doo feces. Dot MP4. Oops. at you. Ah, uh, it's not good. I made goofed. Oh, hey, hold on. Would you like to say something? I'm a, stop, bud. Dude. Oliver is like the mochi of my family. If you remember in the Grumps, we had a cat named Mochi that's still there, I think. He used to cause problems for them off screen, whereas Oliver just does it on screen. Damn it! 
shatter his kneecaps. I don't know how I sound canceled that, but okay. Still with your epic. Why are you moving so fucking slow? Me? No. Oh, Oliver? Yeah. Why is he? <laughs> you know, we can still see you. I'm no fool, Oliver. Oh, I don't think I can land on that. I think it's just out of range. I think I'm supposed to hit those with an arrow. This is what I was really hoping I wouldn't have to do. Breakline fortune. <laughs> Breakline fortune. Boy, red land. See them making a sequel to Vampire the Masquerade Bloodlines? Yeah. They've been making it for a while. It's been passed to like 15 developers. I have no confidence in that game's going to be any good. I agree. <laughs> One, they released all like the vampire clans you can play as. And it has like four options. And they're all like the vampire clans that are just like dude but slightly different. They don't even have the Nosferatu. The no. first Vampire the Masquerade Bloodlines, which was a game made by Troika Studios for like $4 and half a ham sandwich. <laughs> that game you could play as all of the vampire clans, and they all had different mechanics and like little dialogue things that you got. Like, if you play Nosferatu in, uh, in that game, you fundamentally have to play it differently because like... Because the Nosferatu are, like, the, the fucked up looking vampires. Yeah. You cannot be seen by people without breaking the, the Masquerade, which is... I'm not sure how familiar you are with vampire... The mas like vampire lore. I'm not. But, so the Masquerade is, like, an agreement that all the vampire clans and stuff have. Whoa! That, like, basically, it's like they've taken a vow of secrecy. Like, the normal people can't know that vampires exist. Hmm. So, like, if you do vampire shit in front of, like, normal people, that's, that's like, breaking the masquerade. And it usually holds, like, a pretty big, uh, penalty. Uh, if you, d in the game, if you do it enough times, you, they straight up, like, just, they just kill you. The game kills you. You have this big vampire dude just show up and just fucking destroys you instantly. <coughs> Neat. But, like, yeah, like, if you play Nosferatu, like, you have to... Like navigate the game, like the old, like the main like hub worlds and stuff. You have to do that from like sneaking around the shadows and like taking routes through the sewers. Like it's really cool. Fundamentally different game. Yeah, that's pretty awesome actually. The, the how you have to navigate the the world space changes, which is really cool. And I think the vampire clans they picked are all like the kind of boring ones, because again they're all just dude. They don't even have like the, the I don't remember what the hell they're called like the like the Machiavellian vampires, which they're just all like completely nuts. So, which leads into some haha little quirky type writing, but like overall, it's pretty solid. There's some really funny bits with their with their dialogue because like they're they're like actually insane. Where, like, you can't, if you play this one, you have, like, dialogue options that just straight up spoil plot points <laughs> before they happen. Which is hilarious, and I love that. I think we were trying to beat that guy, weren't we? I don't think we got this far. No, we didn't get this far that I'm at right now, but I think we were trying to beat that thing in there. The big tree. Oh, yeah. Yeah, you came in there and died instantly. having an issue with that lady right there, so I'm gonna oh. run away from her. Please leave me alone. Vampire part of the Masquerade Bloodlines is a great game, even if you do need to install a fan patch to actually have it function. Oh, and it's aged. And not because uh, it's like a old game. Oh really? No, it was the it had some it had some issues because it was again made with like five dollars and a ham sandwich. You said four, but it's cool. It's five dollars <laughs> now. They've upped the budget. Did they? <laughs> Ow! 
I fought I think him. I love the fact that, like, I did hear that, that there is a twist that the the big guy that, like, in charge of everything or something like that is the taxi driver or whatever. Like, he's he's something of, a, like, there's, there's an ending you can get where it's revealed that somebody that, like, everybody's looking for is actually the taxi driver. Is that something? I don't think so. I know the taxi, the taxi driver's, like, a weird, like, he's a mysterious figure who may be important to the plot. Because, like, the, the, the plot of the game is there's, like, this coffin of, a, of an elder vampire. And, mm -hmm. like, so how Vampire the Masquerade works is, like, if a vampire feeds on, like, the corpse of a, like, elder vampire who's, like, super powerful and stuff, they basically gain that vampire's power. So they use, they do it in, like, power plays and stuff to, like, become more powerful, the most powerful vampire. So, like, the main crux of that game is everyone's fighting over this, this corpse of this dead vampire. And, uh... Interesting. Does that still hold in the remake that they did? I don't think they did a remake. They're doing a sequel, I know that much. Yeah, they did a re-release, I could have swore. I don't think they did. They might have. I don't Look it up. I could have swore that happened. I don't think they did a re-release. A vampire game recently came out, and I don't mean vampire. 